Hi guys, you're welcome to my empty house tour. I'm so excited to be doing this right now. It's been a long time for me. This is a project we have been working on for quite a while now, so you don't really know how excited I am, guys. <laughs> I'm doing this with my baby. Please help me with Sierra's cup. Let me position her cup away. And my other kids are also around, so you may be hearing them banter every now and then. That's okay. So this building is a four-bedroom flat rooted in a large compound. We haven't done much with the outside, so I won't be showing you guys whatever outside. So in here first, we have a very large veranda. This is about, I think this should be 10 feet by maybe, maybe 16 feet wide. And that is the main entrance to the house. So come inside, come inside. the sitting room it is quite wide and it has three windows you can see we have fixed the lights already and it looks really pretty I'm actually doing it on my own so <laughs> camera movement and all may not be perfect but just bear with me in here we have the dining we have the dining space right here you can see the windows two of the windows and we have one here then just at the side here this part leads to a passage that leads to the other room while in here we have the guest room so come in with me so this right here is the guest room it has two windows that opens outside we also have a toilet on this side of the room so let's see what we have inside the toilet in here is the guest toilet and we have um, a water heater, shower, toilet here, sink or wash and basin. Which one is correct? <laughs> I'm not even sure. And we have a cute mirror here. Hi. Ah, you can't see me with this light. Let me put it up. So here, here we are. Hi. So that's it with the toilet and bathroom in the guest room. So let's go back to where we are coming from. Here we have a wash and visit. This is the dining area of the sitting room. It has a window here. I love the light. And yeah, but this is the look from afar. How do you like it? So let's move on to the passage. This passage leads to, this door is to the dining. This is to the master suits. Master suits consist of two rooms and this right here is the laundry and this space will probably drop our deep freezer right here that's the pan we have and in here we have the children's room and the kitchen so i'm going to go into each room here we need to close here up okay we need to close here up it's showing the pantry but that wasn't the original plan for this place the reason why it was it's open is because the plan was to allow light into the passage but then we now shifted the pantry inward to allow space more space in the kitchen so that means we couldn't do that again but we still decided to leave it open so it opens into the pantry and we can still get some light from the pantry window so we haven't closed up here to be closed up with maybe a, a glass that allows some light inside at least so that's the kitchen but we'll get onto it but come with me this passage leads outside. So this passage leads outside like another entrance to the house. My baby is complaining already. And this is the laundry room. It also has a door that leads out so you can walk directly. So that's what you get in the walkway or what we call here passage, right? Now come with me to the master suite. In here is the master's bedroom. It has just a window. There are actually two rooms, but the other room will be my room. You know what I mean? We have our room 
and then we have my room. I plan on using that space as an office and we both share a toilet and bathroom. You know, there's a little passage just behind here. Let me show you guys. Yeah. And there's a little passage here. This right here is the toilet slash bathroom. And this leads into the second room. Here is the other room. It is just like the first room I showed you. The only difference is that this is slightly smaller. It also has just a window. And this is what the lighting looks like. I love this drop light. Am I the only one in love with drop lights? Yeah, I just took a quick break to attend to my baby. So here is my office slash my room. The echo should be much, but managers like that. So it here is the toilet slash bathroom. So first here we have the, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, is it wash and basin or a sink? <laughs> so there used to be a mirror in here, but for some funny reason, this artisan, I don't know, the electrician removed the mirror to fix the socket. Why do you think we need the socket? So we brought the mirror out and dropped it in here. Sorry, my mic. <laughs> Drop it in here, then the painter mistakenly broke it. So we are left with no mirror here, for now at least, we're going to fix it. So we have the towel rail here, um, and then this jacuzzi, pretty exciting, I can't wait to soak myself in here. <laughs> this is the toilet seat, the tissue holder, the heater. Then the shower here. We almost didn't have a shower in this toilet because we didn't plan it properly. It has a window right there. We didn't plan it properly. And we just okay, we'll put the shower here. I'm just, but I was like, hmm, you're going to be showering inside the jacuzzi all the time. It's going to be messy and you won't feel like using it. So we just had to find a way to walk out a shower at this corner. So it is not demarcated yet. That's what we have in here. I think I'm just going to leave it here. Guys, I'm doing a lot of work. My baby's even complaining, but I can't do this. She's not hungry, so I'm settled. Uh, okay, I've shown you guys three rooms. This is the children's bedroom right here. Just want to hasten up and get this done. It has two windows. That's why I like these other rooms. They're actually rich in windows. Children's room. So right here is the children's toilet. This one is longer than what we have in the guest toilet. So we have a window there, we have the, the water heater, the shower, the toilet seat. This is not also the marketed. We have a mirror here and the sink slash wash and basin. You know how we roll? So that is it with this toilet. Now let me take you guys to my kitchen. Madame's kitchen is right here, guys. Right here. This is my kitchen. If you know where I'm coming from, then you glorify God in my life that I now have a kitchen that is presentable. Yes. If you've watched my other videos, that's the house building video, whatever I name it, then you must have seen a huge part of this kitchen. I was very much concerned about the kitchen, so I was coming here that period a lot and I filmed some processes. This tile wasn't planned this way, but we're just going to work with this for now till I can find something to do. I honestly, honestly, don't like this tile. It was an error. The kitchen was tiled in, towards the ending of 2020, after lockdown, 
and there was scarcity of wool ties. So when we went to buy, they gave us like samples. We had like two options and we just said, okay, bring us this one. And there was another one we chose for the toilet. They sent us two samples, some samples actually for the toilet and we chose one. So now later I was thinking, this one is for the toilet. We actually have worked better for the kitchen. And another design blunder that I won't do next time is, is putting tile all over the kitchen. I will just make it uh, a backsplash affair. <laughs> so, but this kitchen is tiled all through. But in the future, I plan on doing something about the tiles. I won't bring it down, but I'm going to find a way to you know, make it look better. I hope you're not hearing my baby cry. My baby's crying. Oh, she's not hungry, guys. Let's just do this. Yeah, let me show you guys properly what we have in the kitchen. Um, there's a door here. Gosh, I have to go set to my children again. So, <laughs> guys, this should be the most chaotic empty house tour. Oh, can you guys see me from here? Okay, let me just drop it in here. Because of the color of the tiles, I now went for off-white because pure white, I wanted pure white, but pure white, I was not sure it would fit the color of the tiles properly. So I went for off-white and I kind of like it. Sometimes you even think this is white. This is not actually white. Is it appearing white on camera? This is off-white and I also went for a bright color tile. I was just basically looking for everything that will kind of conceal the tiles. So I don't want anything brown. So I went for off-white. Oh, so right here is the storeroom or pantry, if you like. This is the space that we left for the microwave. And also I told the furniture maker, I'm not sure this should sound real. Okay, let me just hold this. I told the furniture maker to remove these two so that we can have space for our electric oven. But we haven't bought the electric oven now. We just agreed that we're going to you know reconstruct it once we buy it so that we'll be sure of what we are reconstructing so but this is what we have here i love that i have lots of cabinet spaces in here drawer um a shelf shelf drawer down and all of that and this is my favorite corner of the kitchen can you tell i love it with the microwave here it's just going to look really cute yeah, I think I will drop maybe some flowers or maybe some plates or something that's the open shelf around here. So from afar, this is what we have in here. We have not fixed the drop lights. If you are seeing some, some stuffs in here, just know that this is where I packed all my jackons. <laughs> but this drop light was supposed to be fixed here, but when the electricians were trying to wire the house, the Cornish, <laughs> Cornish, is it Cornish? I'm not sure that's the name, but there's one decorative piece you see in the center of some POP designs. Yeah, that stuff fell off, and so we couldn't fix this yet. We decided to wait till we are able to fix the. Um... <laughs> Guys, I'm trying my best to get this done. My children are disturbing me so much. <laughs> Sarah is still busy crying, and. Sean is carrying her. She's so busy crying. Uh, at the same time, you snap that him actually. Okay, guys. Yeah, we have. Yeah, okay, now we decide. We have a window here which I'll be covering with a blind later on. We haven't sorted that out. Here is the kitchen sink. Here I have this polyester gas cooker. It has six. I'm trying to get myself back. I'm just... <clears throat> okay. So here I have this polyester electric. Here I have this polyester gas cooker. It has five burners. It's really good. Tempered glass. And here I have a polyester heat extractor. When, I, when we went to buy this, we were looking for an extractor, but we are told cook at home, so whatever. <laughs> so apart from the function, it has, of course, extracting smoke. It actually beautifies this kitchen a lot. Yeah, it beautifies the kitchen a lot. So, now, here, 
I have my pantry here. So when they made this pantry, they use like hardwood for the shelves. I'll go closer later on. But they used have hardwood for the shelves and it was painted black, which I didn't like. So I told the painters to repaint it white. But then they use the normal white paint, which is not cleanable. So I'm gonna get oil paints later on to repaint the wood of the pantry. One of my favorite features in this kitchen is actually this kitchen island. Initially, the carpenter put it on the wall and I'm like, no, we didn't agree that you should put this on the wall. Please bring back my kitchen island. Hashtag bring back my kitchen island. Um, yeah, we have a kitchen island here. It has drawers and it has more cabinet spaces. So that's it with this kitchen. I'm hoping I can, you know, design it to my taste. I don't know if I mentioned already that there is a space here for the fridge, which we haven't bought yet. So this is the roof. The lighting is great. I can open this door if I want. And we have a window here, and we have some lights up there. And that's our disappearing POP design <laughs> that fell off. We have come to the end of this empty house tour i will bring you guys along as much as i can on the furnishing process oh my here yeah, is looking quiet yeah here feels quiet so baby's already maybe i'll stop crying then good so yeah so that is the end of my video thank you guys for for watching i appreciate you guys See you in my next video. Bye.